Data is very important to organisations. Um, lots of people say it's the new oil or it's the new gold. Um, a bit cliched now, but data is really important to all organisations. Every activity within an organisation is producing data, whether it's financial activities or customer interaction, whether it's operationals. Um, a whole data is being produced right across an organisation. Do organisations realise and recognise that value? I think increasing numbers are recognising that value. Are they acting on that recognition? Less so. I think there's a long way to go for organisations to actually really unlock the value from that oil or that gold to actually serve the business. And so whether that's better customer service, better customer interaction, better customer attention, reduce customer churn, um, increase customer life cycle value, improve operations, operation efficiency. There's a huge amount of data there to be mined. Data uh, analytics and data visualization can solve all sorts of problems, a variety of problems. With, with visualization straight off, um, it brings data to life. Um, rather than seeing data in a spreadsheet where you're trying to look for patterns in numbers, visualization will, will bring those patterns alive. Um, data analytics also gives you the opportunity to um, present data perhaps in a, in a browser based where you've got the deep granular data behind, you've got summary data in front, you can drill down into that data, you can filter it, you can change the time scales on those data. But also data analytics that allows you to find the correlations, the links between data, the patterns that overlap each other. It enables you also to introduce third party data sets that might add richness and further insight to the data that you're looking at from in-house. I think the opportunity for CFOs is particularly around um, advanced analytical forecasting producing forecasting models from data to look at cash flow, to look at expenditure, look at project budgets and try and predict those and how they're going to perform, um, and looking at, at, at spend over time. And if you're going to manage spend over time, so there's, there's delivery constraints on that and that will have financial implications. So uh, analytics around modelling and forecasting is really, really important. I think the key steps a CFO would need to take if they want to get their head around the data agenda is first to have somebody in a position who's a controlling mind, to stop silo work, to stop um, repetition of data sets, so somebody can bring it together. I think then that that naturally then leads on into data management and data governance. You need to have uh, good quality data sets, or at least data sets that you understand the quality of them. They needn't be perfect, because you can get a lot out of imperfect data sets but they st you need to understand how imperfect they are, perhaps, before you can do advanced analytics. I think a CFO also ought to understand it's a completely different mindset. If you're trying to do something, um, sort of understand the covenant of a company, its ability to, to, to support perhaps its pension obligations, where you might have reams and reams of actuaries working on it, to understand that there is a data science approach to that, and you may be able to do it in you know, a flash of minutes, what it may take actuaries a very long time to do, is a cultural shift um, for a CFO to get their head around. It's not replacing people, it's actually just getting through the grind and the grunt so that people can concentrate on the complicated more in detail. Who takes responsibility for data governance is a really good question. Um, I see my role as a Chief Data Officer as setting the framework for data governance and ensuring that that data governance is, is applied across the organisation, not only in finance but elsewhere in the organisation, so setting the standards um, that data should be measured against for data quality. Data governance, though, ultimately comes down to the data owner. And financial data, probably the ultimate data owner is the CFO. The CFO is responsible for the CFO's data. And so the CDO should be helping the CFO understand data quality issues and data standards and data dictionary and helping those to be fixed. But ultimately, it's the finance department who are the data owners of their data.